We left Tardybig behind through the Tardybig and Shorewood tunnels, heading for all the church. The rain came in fits and starts. The horn's getting good use today. Good collision avoidance. He was stoking up the fire, apparently. All the church marina ahead, a large holiday hire centre. We moored behind the bridge and Henry, the Locky, had to catch a train the following day. Another grey morning and I set off towards Birmingham. The Crown Meadow Arm, on the right, isn't accessible to boats. Under the M42 motorway, and the morning is brightening as we approach the aqueduct over Burnt Green Lane. The canal crosses the dam of Lower Bittle Reservoir. Wow, I mean, how about this for a mooring? I mean, that is just fantastic. Right alongside the reservoir. What a beautiful mooring. Public holders only, I mean, uh, like to me, couldn't stay there the night. like the house on the end of the dam as well. Looks like it used to be a pub actually. Not that I want to move back to bricks and mortar, but if I did, something like that would be very nice. There was lots of debris in this cutting, much of it collecting in the bridge hole. You can maybe hear some of it hitting the prop. I've driven through the West Midlands conurbation many times. Um, that's Birmingham and Wolverhampton. Uh, and it always seems quite flat to me. 
but it occurred to me when I was in Stourport a few months ago um, and looking at the maps on the canals that no matter what direction you approach um, Birmingham or Wolverhampton from, you have to go up an awful lot of locks. Um, and when I looked into it, it turns out that uh, Birmingham and Wolverhampton, which has a population of over 2 million people, uh, is actually on a, on a plateau, um, which kind of quite surprised me really. Uh, yeah. Just sort of chair that. Still in the beautiful open countryside as we approach the 1.8 mile West Hills Tunnel. When I emerge on the other side, I'll be in the outskirts of Birmingham. <coughs> Don't know why I sounded the horn. It's a two way tunnel. Even so, I'm hoping I don't meet another boat coming the other way. And it's wet. Come on, I know I can't sing, but we all sing in tunnels, don't we? I was surprised how green and leafy it was on the other side but housing and industrial estates surround the canal. Nicholson's guide actually advises against leaving your boat unattended here and I believe, so I've heard from other people, it's not a good place to moor overnight. Why? Why would someone think it's okay to dispose of an old sofa by trying to chuck it in the canal? One of the first things I noticed emerging from the tunnel was that the water is black here, the black country and black water. Ah, graffiti, inner city cruising. Five miles beyond the upcoming bridge, the Worcester and Birmingham Canal ends in Birmingham city centre at Gas Street Basin. But I'm hooking a righty. The guillotine gated stop block ahead marks the start of the Stratford upon Avon Canal. But that's for next time. I hope you can join me on this rather quirky canal. 
please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and please share on your social media. Thanks for watching, take care out there.